All right, guys. So I do want to work you back to some more. Smile and don't say anything stupid. Of life is strange. So now we're gonna look around. I guess that's a donation spot. Um, kind of speed like through good this. Good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Huh. I never thought I'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work. Nice. Me alive. Not anymore. It would me so alive. Not my style, but the neon is a nice representation. Oh shit! Pretentious alert. Hey, I sometimes I don't. Are you Max Caulfield? Bravo on your entry. I'm the art critic for Iris N Magazine, and we would love to include you in a piece about future trendsetters in photography. I'll send you the details this week, if that's okay. Congratulations for your piece. Like, um... Let me talk to this man right here. Okay, sir, I guess you didn't want to talk to me. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. She should be proud. She's like with the the uh, fifth seat right there at the um on the list. That's pretty good. Um kind of like NBA draft picks or something. Oh god, it's a lot of people to talk to. Popping champagne, whoa. Okay, um <laughs> I had to. Look at my man, sitting down. Kind of remind me of, um, kind of like the dude that played Mandarin from Iron Man 3. What about this? No. I know it's kind of simple, but... Oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects the focus. Oh, uh, very smart. Okay, I like how you didn't make no eye contact to me. Eye contact with Young me at all. And grunge. He'll think about those days for the rest of his life in prison. Good. I said no teacher arrested for homicide and kidnapping. I'm like laughing because it didn't show his name. Oh, please let me drink it. Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. Me, um. It was cool that Principal Wells came along. He could have came. Ah, oh, shit. So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. Mm, I'm lucky. I'm surreal. I guess I'm lucky. I don't know. I'm just lucky. There's no way I'm a real photographer yet. Don't sell yourself short, Max. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. I should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. Or put my foot in his ass. Ha! <laughs> Jefferson fooled us. It's not your fault. Um, I tried to tell you. Mm, I'm just a triangle. Mark Jefferson was good about hiding his tracks. We were all fooled by him. Most of all, me. As you might know, I have a weakness for prestige. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. Huh. Strange weather, maybe karma. Um, yeah, karma. I'd like to think there's some karma involved. The Prescotts have had this coming. I do believe that what goes around comes around. I just hope it's all good for a change. 
I'm hoping hmm. this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, at least for this event. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. Cuz name is Ray. Who is this? I, I do not understand art. Yeah, I don't, he ain't the only one. I don't understand it either. Well, I have to say, this is the best everyday hero show I've seen since it began. All the pictures say a lot about our times. Bravo. Yeah, of course he'll like that one right there. You know the funny part about these art exhibits? Let me look at my man's shirt. Is that the paintings aren't the only thing that's decorated. I mean, they swag is too. I guess everybody Look at them stripes on that man's out. shirt. Okay. I'm just walk across you real rude like. I bet it's gonna be some person up in here that knows Jefferson. I always get hey, I love your shot. I just wanted to say congratulations, and I hope you get a lot more attention. Um, thank you. Max Caulfield, everyday hero. Hi, excuse me, you're Max Caulfield, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Sorry to bother you, but my name is Danny Lee, and I'm with the Berkeley People's Herald. I edit their art section, and I totally dig your work. Now, I know the whole ironic selfie thing is kind of played out, but there's something timeless about your images, so I I'd love to set up an appointment or, or interview with you when you get a chance. Uh, here's my card. So great talking with you, Max. You too, Danny. Hell, yeah, she didn't even get a chance to talk. Um... I already talked to her. Is he gonna say anything? Bad no. Exposure. This makes me feel so sad. Like I was. Usually these kind of contests, they they put me to sleep, but I like how this show is about specific actions, you know, not just abstractions. Look at my doing some unique stuff this year. Look at my man's shoes. He over there two stepping. He can't stand straight. Oh, that's my picture. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Ah, shit. The nosebleed. Okay, we lost uh, you there for a second. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. I like that. I like the excuse. Oh, you left the ringer off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh, no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm Chloe, can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Oh my god. The tornado was real. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. For good. Huh. All right. So, I like that. That looks pretty creepy, but at the same time, it looks cool as fuck. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. She could, she looks lonely as hell. I bet I'm gonna no have to go. No fucking way. Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. I bet I'm gonna have to go to my um. This was definitely shot with a I'm gonna have to go to my painting and then focus on one of the pictures. I do not understand art. No, no, no. I guess everybody is a photographer now. Yep, I knew it. Alright, come on, baby. Use the eyes. Need you my eyes. 
Excuse me. Ah, come on. I to ask you a few questions about your work. Sorry, but. Like how you just inter like interfere with. Come on. Oh, you're Max Caulfield. Ah. Tell me what kind of instant camera you um, use. Can we talk later? Thanks. I literally do not have the time to deal with everybody. Okay, I got. I gotta hurry up. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank goodness. <laughs> Just people keep on interrupting. Uh, shit, I probably oh, shit. dying now. Oh, my head. What is going on now? It's a it time paradox. Reality is breaking apart. What am I doing to time? Yeah, I see it with you. I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. So apparently with that, now Mr. Jefferson... Jefferson gonna be free now. Yep. Ah shit, now I'm back in this situation. Damn it. Everything. What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. Fuck you. Oh, I definitely ain't gonna say fuck you. Eat shit and die. I'm gonna get slapped. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Oh. I had to let Victoria Chase go. You let her? Don't be stupid, okay? She's exactly where she deserves to be. No. Oh, as if you care. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now. Too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still here. Damn. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. Whoa, did you see how crazy it is outside? Like I said, something weird. Hmm. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss of youth. At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds.
Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. <laughs> ah, shit. Please, don't do this. Oh fuck, am I going to die? Am I, is he going to kill Man, he's going to fucking kill me. I'm probably going to have to kick him in his... Kick the needle precisely. Kick him in his throat. I'm going to whine time. Fuck this shit. At least... That's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. <laughs> Shit, is there, like, nothing please, I can do? Please, don't do this. Am I gonna have to accept this shit? I promise. This final dose won't hurt. I prom I promise. It must be something. I can't. Okay, it's something all the way at the fucking beginning. At least. That's the last, like. Come on. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. I'm afraid to like let him I promise this final dose won't hurt I promise there. this final dose won't hurt You know what? I promise. No, I'm just gonna let this it happen. Final dose won't there hurt. ain't nothing I could possibly do. Wait. Damn. Come on, David. No, David. Wind back a little bit. So that was supposed to happen. Man, I was wondering, like, what the... I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... request? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Um, turn off the lights. One last picture. Play some music. You know what? Play some music. Could he please at least play some music so I can drift away? Even at the end, you're still a dreamer, Max. It's a nice trait. There we go. Now I'm a little bit crazy. Out of my mind, I'm going slightly strange in the head. It's all a little bit hazy. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to stay Should work. What? What? Now it's sent all the way down here. I gotta um. No, okay. Let me wind back a little bit. 
No more nosebleed. Wait, hold on. Can I... Can I please ask you for one last... request? Oh... You got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Um... Some water. One last picture. Mmm... Go with lights and will you time. mind turning off the lights? They make me squint, so I won't look good for the shot. Now, you're thinking like a real photographer. And I don't want your last memory to be bad lighting. Right, let's see how this shit gonna work this time. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Oh, fuck. Alright, so he opened a bat the fuck out of me with that. Bless you. Let me rewind it. Play some music. One last picture. Um, so I did lights, I did music. Oh, some water. Uh, let's, let's go with a picture. Would I don't know gonna work. Take one last picture of me. I, I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. journal <laughs> so that's how I look I can't believe they even gave me the option of looking at that so after this I'm gonna try water if that um I promise this final dose won't hurt what Time to shut the fuck up, okay? Fuck. Yeah, I'm at. I, I, it, it's gonna have to be. Bless you. Yeah, I'm trying some water this time. Uh, excuse me, but my, my throat is scratchy. Can I please have some water? Of course. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Oh shit. Wait, so that was actually like the right choice to do. I guess now it's in my way. So it's gonna basically give it like a good little delay. I promise. This final dose won't hurt. What? David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Mm. No gun. No ball. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Oh, fuck. You are not going to stop me. You are not going to... You are not going to stop me. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. David, kick that table. Yes, sir. <clears throat> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. You gotta make me laugh. What going to stop me? Mm. 
Mm. Nighty night. Oh Lord, Max. Are you okay? Are you alright? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. No, thank me. You brought me here. Now I feel like let's a... wrap up this son of a bitch first. Now I feel like a dick for um getting him kicked out of his own <gasps> house. Oh shoot. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. Save Chloe. He burned everything, including all of my photos. Warren, yes, I, I can use that picture he took of us. Shit, no signal. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson, but you won't need this anymore. So we're off on a drive? No. Jefferson looks so is this place? pathetic now. David? Are you okay? Soldier. Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was... was gonna kill me. Like he did to Victoria Chase. Oh, no. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. You suspected everyone? I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And Max, I'll never forgive myself for what happened to Kate. I feel like I helped push her off that roof. Isn't that your fault? Fuck that. Don't blame yourself. Nathan and Jefferson are the ones who put her up there. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and almost used it. But he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys well you had each other wait ain't Chloe dead if I rewind it um she learned from you we're a great team maybe she learned from you I think she only learned how to hate my guts I'm sure you know I uh, I hit her the other day I know you're sorry I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father, too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I'm sorry. I was pissed off. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams or kept all those files. I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but it's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she? She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. 
Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. Hmm. So, where is Chloe? Ah, oh, shit. Like I said, wasn't she shot in the head? Tell the truth, Hyde. Oh, fuck. See? Oh, my goodness. That's a big choice. You know, he, he deserved honesty. David. Uh, Chloe is... Is dead. This isn't happening. It can't. No, God. Not Chloe. Max, are you are you sure? Are you? Yes, I. I saw her. I. I saw a Jefferson killer in the junkyard last night. Last night. When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room. I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? I never even told Chloe that I... I God damn it! He's gonna kill Mr. Jefferson. You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! Max, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. Uh, Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You didn't fail. You did your best. Max. You better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, thank you for saving me. So I wonder what I'm gonna do. Is they gonna give me the option? my nose. Huh? Jesus! All of these lives destroyed. Rachel. So I can't Chloe, rewind back. Kate. Even Nathan. My God. What do I tell Joyce? Damn, that pain that really scared the fuck out of me. So I wonder if I. Should I rewind it back or should I just like let it ride? Um, you um, killed my Chloe. You know, let me rewind back just to see. Like, I, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it as that because I feel like there's a justified ending. But I just wanna rewind like it back to see like how that would have turned out. Just give you a, like, just give you a little bit of like how, how it would have been. I had no idea he was this sick. I didn't even need to talk to him to tell you the truth. David. Jefferson. Oh, I always suspect. I never did. I never. You shouldn't have. 
He wasn't. I wasn't. Hey, Mac. Skip. Not your fault. Don't blame you. I. Skip. Jefferson. Skip. That. Skip. No. Skip. We all met. Skip. She learned from you. Skip. Me. Skip. Skip. I know you. Skip. I'm not. Skip. That's. Your... Skip. I'm sorry. I'm... Skip. I should skip. I'm... Skip. I skip. try. A lot and of you... skip. I just want to. And skip. And skip. High truth. David, um. Well, she was pretty stressed out, so. Um, she went to go. Um, medicate before I ended up in here. So. She's okay. Oh, thank God. For once, I'm happy Chloe's a stoner. <laughs> David, I, I have to go outside and get some real air. And use my phone. Of course. Go on, Max. You're a brave soldier. I'm glad Chloe has a best friend like you. Go on now. You've seen enough of this room. Okay, teacher. Let's see what kind of photo evidence you shit all over this computer. You're not getting away with this, Jefferson. Mm. Oh, Rachel. How could anybody... See, now... Ah, oh, fuck. You know I'm just gonna keep it like this. Freedom! Holy shit. This storm is real. I need to find more. Yes! Warren, can you hear me? Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thanks to this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on. Time to drive. Ah. Car seem kind of creepy. I guess that was um, but his name is. <laughs> they had drove up in. Culture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get the hell out of here now! Now, God damn it, go ahead and You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I just wanted to say, I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Damn. Sorry. I don't know why the graphics like right then and now kind of got serious.
Wait, did she make it to the diner? Oh, lord. Look at that. Freaking crazy. Warren is at the Two Hills Diner, so hurry up. Somebody! Anybody! Tell me! Is anybody out there? Well, shoot, where are you at, my man? God. Kevin, did you see that tornado? Get the hell out of here. Max, there's no way I can pass up these images. Just look at it. You can't take a picture when you're dead. Now move your ass. Okay, if you insist. Whoa, Max. I do know things. I'm such an idiot. Only if you don't find a safe spot until this blows over. Okay? Now I better listen to the real everyday hero. Come with me. I have to help somebody else first. I like how he kind of got bit. Is that a whale? Oh my Jesus. Okay, this turned on fire. How can I get out of here? If we can make it out of this, Chloe. I don't got time to be looking for shit. That's the fryer. Sprinklers. Okay. I just need to switch on the electricity to activate the sprinkler. Yeah, but where the hell is Oh, there you go. Fusion box. Ah, oh, shit. Dead. Electrocuted. I want to help that fisherman, but he's in shock and he might not hear me. Mm. How the heck do I... I'm at the goal. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I got this. Sorry, kid, you got fried again. Alright, though. Rewind time since I'm over there. Please, 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 please. You have to get out of here right now. I need to breathe. Uh, I need air. No more storms. Alright, what do you say, my man? You should get out of here. Better hurry to the diner over there. I need Warren's photo. I mean, so much shit is happening right now. And they go to diner. I bet they're gonna try to blow and hit me. Watch. 
Look at that whale. So how the hell do I? Okay, probably the, the back maybe. I'm trying not to get caught in this damn explosion. is damn rewinding right now. How the hell am I supposed to take care of him? Dr. Clown it. There gotta be somewhere to take care of this shit. Okay, so it's spreading like that. So I found the culprit. So I got us. There's some way to stop the damn thing. Can the whale help? Thought I was gonna be sending that help fly out of there, like a use or some shit. Gave me no marker or nothing. Damn, he did. Shit. Oh, no. Not her. 
I should have warned her. I never even asked her name. So selfish. Carol, one time. Try to save her somehow. No. Damn it. Evacuation. Once again, this is not a test. This is not a test. An E6 tornado warning has been issued for Arcadia Bay and surrounding counties. The emergency broadcast system is now in effect. Max. Oh, Max. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. I know. There. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce, but it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. Hold so on. glad everybody is safe here. <clears throat> but I need that photo from Warren. Okay, Max. Excuse me while I go help this other gentleman. Frank, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, it makes two of us. Now, if only I had Rachel back. Now, Max, what about that info I gave you? Did you and Chloe find out what happened to her? Mm. Oh, Frank. I don't know how to say this, so I just will. Rachel is dead. No, please. Please, no, no, not Rachel. She can't fucking be. Are you, are, you, are you sure? I mean, how do you know? We used the names you gave us to track down a farmhouse. My professor, Mark Jefferson, has this creepy photo torture room. And we found out he was using Nathan Prescott to drug and photograph Blackwell students. Prescott? Fuck! Fuck, I knew it! I should never have hooked up with that sick punk! Pompidou hated him! You saw... You saw Rachel. Yes. I wish I didn't. I'm so, so sorry, Frank. Nathan wanted to impress Jefferson, and he... He killed her. How? How did he kill her? He used some drug and gave her an overdose. An overdose? The only way Nathan could have done that is, is if I sold it to him. I killed my lioness. No, what have I done? Where is this motherfucker Jefferson? He's going to jail. He won't be hurting anybody anymore. Rachel, oh God. She was the one good thing in my life, Max. I know she was too young. I expect her to leave me, just... It's not how it happened. I would never have stopped her from going after her dreams. I know. She obviously cared about you, Frank. Now, Rachel cared about a lot of people. Especially Chloe. But, uh... Now I see why Rachel dug her. And Chloe was man enough to ask me for help after all that shit we went through. Chloe would appreciate that. You know, the one time I met my dad, the bastard quoted the Bible and said he wanted to enter his house justified. In other words, to do the right thing. Me too. And maybe you're helping me get there, Max. Don't get me wrong, kid. I still think you're weird. But you're cool. I 
hate to say I'm glad to see you, but I'm so glad to see you. That's okay. The important thing is that you're safe. And I know you can take care of yourself after Nathan. Should have done that a long time ago. But damn, Max. Can't believe you actually drove down here in the middle of a fucking E6 tornado. Just for one photograph? I mean, I know you didn't come for me. Warren, I came for all of you. Just tell me you do have the photograph. I just want... Now shut up and listen. Oh yeah, you're finally going to tell me what you never did in the parking lot. I wish I would have. So I'm just going to tell you without any explanation. Trust me, okay? I always do. You should probably tell me quick. I had a vision in Jefferson's class of a tornado destroying Arcadia Bay. I went to the bathroom and saw my best friend Chloe get shot by Nathan Prescott. You with me so far? Where else could I be? Go on. Then I found out that I could rewind time. And long story short, Mark Jefferson is insane and dangerous. Whoa. Is that all? I have to go back in time. Jefferson already k killed Chloe. I can't let that happen. I have to do something, Warren. Max, going back in time is what caused the storm. All because, because of me? How? I'm not a real scientist, even though I play one at school, but this seems like pure cause and effect. Maybe chaos theory. What happened with Jefferson? Did, did he hurt you? He used Nathan to get drugs and money for him. Jefferson tied me up and dosed me with some drug and took sick photos of me. It was so horrible. Max, I'm so sorry you had to go through all that. You're the bravest person I've ever known. You know, I want to kill that son of a bitch. Where is he? Busted. History. Which I need to change fast to make it right again. Is that bad? For every action, there's, there's a reaction. Whenever you reversed or, or altered time, maybe you caused a chain reaction. Even in the environment. Warren, I know this all sounds insane, but you're the only other person who I can count on now. I wish we had more time together. Do you believe me? Max, of course I believe you. You're the most amazing person I've ever met. And I'm glad you trust me. Always. I just wish I could trust my powers. I guess we'll never know if it's magic or science. Even if it's from a wizard or a wormhole, you're part of something bigger. I don't believe in fate or destiny, but after this week, I realize I don't know shit. That makes both of us, Warren. I do know you're here for a reason. And I guess it's up to you to find out why. Max, I'm sorry you got stuck in this. In this, I don't have a fucking clue what's going on. But I have total faith that you'll do the right thing when the time comes. I'm so proud of you, Max. How could there be a more important moment in history? And I'm in the middle of it with you. So thank you for trusting me. Thanks for being here. Always. Max, do you... Hey. Be careful out there. For luck. Just in case we don't get out of this, I wanted to say... I know, Warren. Of course you do. I'm going to make the right choices from now on. I swear.
That's why you're super max. Please be okay, 